our new project which was put up. Now, we proceed immediately to operations. Then, you can take a little tour. You come out at uh, the other end, then we meet again here, and then we'll have um, uh, Mr. Jacob Sandman saying a few words, the house master saying a few words, and then uh, uh, Stefan, please, uh, and then uh, I will wrap up. Okay? So now, we want to put uh, Stefan and Stefan know uh, very well what uh, Mr. Walani Aga was also uh, former general secretary of the FA and then uh, still on the bigger committee uh, of uh, the Confederation of African Football. So it's very important to have him there. Now, we have also the new house owner, Olava uh, Robert Sapo, who's here. And uh, when we sent him the invitation, thank God he accepted it. And I called him and then he said, I'm just waiting for you. I've not taken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting for me. And uh, we are very grateful to you, sir. Okay? And uh, our mates, as you see, we have the General Secretary Worldwide, Mr. Phil Particular. We have uh, the General Secretary of the Division Africa. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 possible without our staff. Please clap your hands uh, for our staff. As I always say, we can never do it alone. Okay? So I'll pass the floor to the house master, uh, Mr. and uh, Stefan to uh, cut the court. Look at me, huh? Look at me. Look at me. On behalf of the government, look at here. The Minister for Youth and Sports and National Sports Authority, we officially open the office for the Professional Football Association for the betterment of football. May God help us. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
You are on night bed. Ah, my one. He did not even reply. Sure, because I spoke more. Yes. It's always <laughs> too much. <laughs> but uh, of course, I would like to say, as a second general, in the name of the board, in the name of all our members, in the name of all the players, the single thousand of you present. As a second general, I'm really impressed. I'm impressed by the work you've done together with your staff. We know Solomon very well, the member of our financial committee. There's one thing clear. If you have Solomon on board, the finances are open. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I am here with two empty hands because I was not aware. I was aware of the fact that there was an opening of the office, but I have no presents for you. But I have a present. And I'm looking at uh, Frederick because she has to help me. <laughs> you are having a new office. Yeah. An office. Where, from which you have to be very proud of because what is you that we will do it as quickly as possible and that we really hope that in Ghana but also in Africa but we are now talking about Ghana that you use the office because as you said you can have an office but the quality is about what happens in the office yes. but I have all the confidence I speak in all in the name of all of us we are proud of you we are proud of your union we are proud of the Division Africa. We are proud of FIFPRO. This is the way we have to continue. And I re really think that if we do this and let it be a good example for everybody, then we don't want to be as big as FIFA, but then we are exactly on the same level with the same influence. It is, we do this for the players, as you said. Thank you very much. Viva FIFPRO! Viva FIFPRO! I would like uh, to pass the floor. Uh, now uh, to the general secretary of the division africa and after please we have one person to represent the board yeah, no okay problem. thank you tony thank you theo um well with the motion we have some special moments in africa we had some special moments in ghana and it's not the first one 
As Theo said this morning, like you, Anthony, uh, the division Africa has begun 10 years ago, almost. It was during the AFCON. A lot of top players, we met you, and it was a special moment. And we were very happy and we were very proud that not only you decided to, to be convinced, but for Ghanaian guys in the country, but we were also very happy that you decided to join our family. We are very pleased, we are very proud, very proud of that. And I remember that three years ago, because the actual location of PFAJ yeah. is just over there, yeah. 100 meters just. Yeah. You have a two rooms, two rooms location yes. for the office. And we came in this place with Solomon, we checked the place together and we decided, go for it. You have the opportunity to take this one, take, take this place, go for it, make the renov uh, renovation, and we will have a wonderful place. It is a wonderful place. We are very proud of you, and I think that all the players in Ghana will be very proud of your staff, because you have a very nice staff. Solomon, and you, and the top guys, who are on you for the board of people. I think Stefan, especially, and Michael. Of what you have done, we are very proud of it and continue because it's just the beginning. Long life to PFAG, long life to Division. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, I am my oldest uh, association in Africa. Me and, uh, and Algeria, when we start with, uh, with, uh, with Hebrew. Uh, I, I think you are, uh, you are a player, good player, and uh, I believe in the football player. I believe the mentality of the good player also. When the good player, he proved himself in the pitch, he proved himself outside also. And you do, you, you do this and uh, uh, it's not a long time now you are a member of, uh, of, uh, of FIBRO and Division Africa, but you do many things for Ghana and for the, the Ghanaian player. Uh, uh, Anthony, I'm very proud also with, with all the, the words uh, uh, they say uh, to you and Stefan. We are very proud about, about your uh, union. We are very proud about the working you, 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 you're doing there in, in, uh, in, uh, in the union. And also the, uh, the system you work, you are uh, very organized uh, union and also you are very organizing men. I hope very successful for you and for your union and for all the Ghanaian player because I am an Egyptian but I love the style of Ghanaian player. Most of the player they played like a, a technical and and the beautiful uh, football like 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 uh, the, the, the South, South uh, African football and we you beat us in the last last uh, World Cup and we try to beat you in this World Cup. <laughs> we are waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very, you much. very much. So uh, I'll pass the floor to the house master himself, Honorable uh, Robert Sapo. Secretaries General of the various uh, regions. What I want to say is that we are very much happy about this project. Because our concern is about the life of our professional players after their normal playing time. We do know that the professional lifespan of players is very, very short. And after they retire from active playing life, what happens? The government has realized this. And currently, there's a committee in place at the Ministry of Youth and Sports looking at how uh, the state and the government can comprehensively reward professional players. 
It's not just about doing their playing time, but when they have left their playing time, what should happen? So we are looking at a retirement package for players so that apart from what your organization is doing, the state can also do something to ensure that we do appreciate the work that they have done. We know what uh, professional footballers have done for this country. As we travel around the world, in several places, when you mention that you are from Ghana, the easiest way you are identified is by the mention of black stars. And when certain key players' names are mentioned, that is when we realize what football has done. I'm very happy from, for what you have done. And I'm praying that other federations will also learn from what you are doing. Ghana, we have about 43 federations of various sporting disciplines. And their life after their active uh, playing time is not different from what happens to our professional players who do not plan after their retirement. So I believe they will learn from you and do exactly what you are doing to help the future of our players and our athletes. In fact, we are happy to host you here. In fact, I'm overwhelmed by what I've seen inside. I've been driving in front of these two offices every morning and I've never entered. It's a shame on my part. But fortunately, today Tony has managed to bring me around. This is wonderful. And I'm happy about the systems that you are putting in place. So professional, so efficient. And I believe several organizations will come and learn from you, especially how you keep to your time. That has been the bane of Africa and especially Ghana. This cliche, African time, Ghanaian time. I think from what you have started, we should learn from you and make sure that we keep to time. And with that, we can advance in our development. So we are around. We are ever ready to support you. Our doors are always open. We are, you know we have been together yes. and we always consult. Our doors are always open. The NSC will do everything possible to ensure that you succeed in your endeavors. I'm so happy to meet with uh, important professional players that have been watching on the screen. I'm so, so happy. I believe that this will not be the last time they will continue to visit us, to continue to over us ideas and so on, so that we can together move professional football forward in Africa. Once again, on behalf of my minister, I welcome you all to the Class 4 Stadium, and I believe that this will just be the beginning of greater things to happen. Thank you very much. Thank you.